it was fitting that it was here in Los Angeles, home of the Tinseltown Dream Factory, that Joe Biden acknowledged this most sensational plot twist. So I'm here to report, we are very much alive! And make no mistake about it, this campaign that will send Donald Trump packing. Even as he spoke, voters were still queuing at the polling stations in California. The results showed that Mr. Biden did best among voters who decided in the last few days after what his team called the Jomentum began. Last chance to vote for Bernie Sanders. Woo! Both more Randy! Bernie's coffee shop in LA is a meeting place for Sanders volunteers. Located in a disused diner, they were serving up consoling cheers as they watched their candidate react to the results. We are going to win the Democratic nomination. And we are going to defeat the most dangerous president in the history of this country. But one problem for the Democratic Party, who do these supporters vote for if the nominee is eventually Joe Biden? In 2016, many Sanders supporters, like Michelle Manos, refused to vote for Hillary Clinton. I honestly don't think that it's going to be a unified decision by like all the Bernie people. I think it's really going to be um, everybody's going to do whatever they feel is right, which is the same thing that happened in 2016. You know, some people voted for Hillary in the general election, some voted for Jill Stein, some wrote in Bernie Sanders, some people didn't vote because they felt, you know, disenfranchised by what had happened. Is that what you did? Uh, no, I, I voted for Jill Stein, you know, I can stand by that. Um, Hillary was never going to be a good president. The San Joaquin Valley runs down the center of California. The farms here feed America. This part of the valley usually sends a Republican to Congress, but in 2018, in the midterm elections, it was one of 41 districts that switched to the Democrats. Some in the local party believe it will be far easier to retain the seat with Joe Biden as the nominee. Bernie Sanders' talk of revolution is less sellable to swing voters. Especially for us in California, the average person has to work two jobs to uh, pay bills and make ends meet. So um, more than anything, it's about the economy and um, uh, the average American being able to afford, uh, you know, a decent wage and a decent living. Saikat Chakrabarti is one of a new breed of Democrats. A Sanders supporter, he was, until recently, chief of staff to progressive congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. He rejects the idea that the midterms show that only a moderate like Joe Biden can win the presidency. It's a totally different scenario when it's a presidential race and you can actually talk about real ideas because the entire media is covering it. I guarantee you, you go to the suburban districts and you ask them, hey, what did your congressperson run on? They probably couldn't tell you. You know, they could tell you, I voted for a Democrat, or they could tell you, oh, I liked so-and-so because, you know, um, she came from a good background, which is what a lot of people uh, campaign on. But it's but presidential elections are moments when conversations change and when we can actually have a discussion on which way the, the country should head. But Joe Biden isn't exactly a risk-free candidate for the Democrats. He sometimes seems confused, and as the president's Twitter feed reminds America, he sometimes says odd things. We choose truth over facts. Play the radio, make sure the television, the, excuse me, make sure you have the record player on at night, the, the, the phone, make sure the kids hear words. Poor and that's all before you get to Mr. Biden's issues with his son and Ukraine. In this kind of an election, what you actually want is somebody who is um, as inoffensive to as many people as possible so that their sole focus remains on, do I want another four years of Trump or not? If they start saying, well, geez, would this person really be the right replacement? then you get into this question of a choice. And that is something that typically favors the incumbent. In fact, that's precisely how George W. Bush and Barack Obama each won re-election, despite being embattled incumbents themselves. California's farmers always have in mind what Americans want to buy. 
It's perhaps easy for the Democrats to forget in the midst of this process. It's not enough for them to unite around a candidate if America disagrees. Thank you.